season. Trainers I had, so I think that started off great. And for me, it's just maximizing my potential. Um, you know, pushing myself every single day, trying to get the most out of myself. Um, I think I did a really great job with that. I think working with the people at Proactive in California, they did a great job uh, preparing me for this event. So I think I've set myself up for success. Theo, you had a big week at the Senior Bowl. Can you just take us through what that process was like going down to Mobile and being around other guys in this class? Yeah, I think it was huge for me. Um, just being around, you know, like, uh, great, great competitors uh, across the country, guys. I'm going to be playing at the next level. Um, I think it was really cool just to be able to, you know, be myself, get a get a system that isn't overly complex and it's just made um, to to let. You know, the athletes showcase their abilities, and I think I was able to do that down there. Not only that, you had a bunch of teammates down there with you. What does that say about Penn State as a program and James Franklin as a head coach? Yeah, I think, you know, Penn State year in, year out um, is producing NFL talent, not just NFL talent, but guys that thrive at the next level. Um, so it just shows what Coach Franklin's doing at Penn State and, and what it means to be a Penn State football player. Theo, for the people who, who aren't familiar with you, Penn State's offense, can you just kind of give us a quick summary of some of the stuff you were asked to do? Yeah, I think at Penn State, uh, you know, I really appreciated the opportunity I had because I was able to showcase all that a tight end can do. Uh, I was lined up in the backfield as a fullback, uh, flexed out wide in the slot. Um, there's times I was isolated one-on-one -on -one, um, out, out wide. Um, so, you know, you're able to showcase everything that a tight end can do. Um, so that was a unique experience for me because I'm able to show NFL teams that I'm able to line up uh, anywhere on the field if you need me to. Yeah, have you met with the Cowboys this week? I have not, no. What does it mean to you, you know, Penn State, you know, you know, all this NFL talent, but especially at the tight end position, you know, kind of be next up at that position and all the NFL Penn State tight ends? Yeah, I think that was a huge reason why I chose Penn State uh, as a young high school kid. Um, just looking at the lineage of tight ends that have came out of Penn State, um, it excited me to, to continue that tradition, but also to leave my own mark on it uh, moving forward in the future. I think I've done that, um, and I'm looking forward. To, to the kids that are coming coming out after me, you got a, a lot of really young, good talent. So I think that tradition is going to continue on for a long time. Have you talked with Pat Fryermuth uh, during this pre-draft process, and what have those conversations been like? If so, yeah, I was I was just talking with him recently. He uh, wished me luck on the week. Um, you know, one thing he's always told me is that Penn State's going to prepare you really well, not only for this pre-draft process, but for the next level, just with how Coach Franklin carries uh, his program. Um, so he's like, you know, just be you and, and trust your training. Um, just fall back on, on your training. Theo, if you could show NFL teams one play that exemplifies, like, this is what Theo Johnson football looks like, what play would that be? Mm, that's tough. Um, I'd say probably my touchdown against Michigan State. Um, you know, I ran a route that requires you to be able to dissect coverages, not only pre-snap but post-snap, and make a high-level decision. Uh, full speed throughout the play. Um, so I think, you know, that not only showcases my abilities uh, mentally, but physically as well to be able to make a contested catch. Speaking of Pat Farmuth, what would it be like to play with him with the Steelers and have you met with the Steelers at all during the pre-draft process? Yeah, I met with uh, the Steelers informally this week. Um, you know, Pat's, that was my guy. He was someone that when I came in as a, as a young kid, I kind of uh, you know, look to him for, for guidance and to see how to go about my business because at the time he was a bona fide draft pick. Um, so, you know, I have a great relationship with him. It'd be cool at some point down the road to, you know, be on the same team again. Um, but at the end of the day, wherever I end up, I'm going to I'm gonna do my very best. Theo, when you're watching your own film, what would you say, you know, is the biggest thing about your game that pops out to you? Yeah, I think the big thing for me that sets me apart from the rest of the guys in this class is I feel like I have a unique size and movability for my size. I think I can utilize my size and my speed um, very uniquely. Um, so I think that sets me apart from, from other tight ends. Theo, given what you and your family have been through over the years, what does an opportunity like this mean for you and being able to do something? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is beyond my wildest dreams, what I'm doing here. Um, come from Canada, it's it's super rare for a Canadian kid to be here, regardless of, of, of struggles and adversities that I went through. Um, it means a lot for me to be here for, for not only my family, but for Canadian kids that um, never really thought something like this was possible. So I take tremendous pride not only for representing my family being here, but representing the, the country of Canada. Would you be here? Yeah, no, I, I would not be here. I would not be the man that's, that's standing here in front of y'all today. Um, I am who I am because of my mom and her work ethic and 
for showing me that um, you can accomplish anything if you never give up. And with un undeniable faith and work ethic, you can accomplish anything. So I'm the man I am today because of my mom. This is almost that situation. Park, can you repeat that? This is almost a situation for you at that time when your mom will never go Looking back on it now, yeah, I mean, it's it's an impossible situation. Um, if a hundred people went through that situation that my mom was in, raising six kids on your own, homeless, without food or without money to pay for stuff, um, having to go to food banks and church to get clothes for your kids, um, like people wouldn't be where my mom is now. The head partner of her law firm, um, a thriving law firm in Windsor, Ontario, being very successful with six kids that are all within their own right doing great things. Um, my brother has his own business. Um, another one of my older brothers is traveling abroad and is getting his law degree in, uh, in Germany. I'm here sitting in front of you guys. I got younger brothers that are coming up. Um, so it was, it was really tough. Um, it, was, it was not always easy. I wasn't always as smiley and, and happy as I am now, but I'm very fortunate to be standing here today. Um, and I attribute that to my God and uh, my mother for making that possible. Yeah, do you have a favorite route you like to run? Favorite route. I mean, I think for me, my favorite route is, uh, say, maybe a nod route. Uh, it really gets, gets an opportunity for you to be able to, to sell. You get to be unique um, and be creative with your route and, and how you can win against man coverage. So Penn State talks a lot about iron sharpens iron. How do you think going up against Chop and Adisa made you a better player? Yeah, I mean, I think especially this past season, uh, going against those guys made me a better, better football player, a better, uh, better blocker. Um, I've been telling everybody throughout this process, Chop Robinson is the hardest, uh, like the best DN I've had to go up against um, in my college career. I've played a lot of really great DNs in, in, the, uh, in the Big Ten. Um, Chop's one of the best. Uh, Adisa is one of the best. Um, so playing against those guys every day made me a better football player. Theo, in the Senior Bowl, just being coached by Jeff Ulbricht, the defensive coordinator for the Jets. What were your impressions of him? Yeah, so going into it, um, you know, not really sure what to expect going into, you know, an all-star game, how much coaching you're really going to receive. Um, but I was super impressed with how he's able to run a team in such a short period of time. Um, and he just dropped so much gold for for all of us guys that are going to the next level, not really sure what to expect um, and, and how to go about the process. Um, super fortunate and appreciative for, for the opportunity to be under him, um, and I have a ton of respect for him after that. Have you met with the Jets? I have not, no. And what would it mean to you if you were to be drafted there to catch passes from a like Rodgers? Yeah, I mean, whoever whoever drafts me, I'm going to be super fortunate and appreciative to, to have that opportunity, and if it's the Jets, it'll be the same way. I did, yeah. Uh, we came in the same class. Um, he, he transferred in, and, and he transferred in my freshman year. And what do you think about how he's been doing in the NFL? Yeah, I think seeing his uh, seeing his development's been really really cool. Um, a guy that came from junior college to you know finding his way to school like Penn State to now uh, being a starting safety in the NFL, it's really cool. I got a ton of respect for him. He's a good dude, and, and he deserves great things. Uh, no, ma'am. Yeah, um, I chose Penn State, uh, kind of like I had mentioned earlier, um, just the long lineage of tight ends that have came out of there. Um, it excited me to, to be able to continue that lineage, uh, but also leave my own mark on it. Uh, Penn State at the time had a loaded tight end room. Uh, we had Pat Fryermuth. Zach Koontz, who is number two in this class coming out. Brenton Strange, who went in the second round last year. Uh, myself, and then Tyler Warren, who's gonna be a top uh, tight end drafted next year. Um, so I knew I was gonna, gonna have to compete, and I was gonna have to fight against guys that are really good football players. And I think in doing that, um, you know, iron sharpens iron, as, as we were said before. Competing against those, those tight ends made me a better player. Um, and that's a big reason why I chose to go to Penn State. Penn State's strength and conditioning program gets a lot of acclaim. Uh, what is it? Because um, obviously we see the on-field product. We don't see as much of the behind-the-scenes stuff. What is it about that program that makes it as good as it is? And how has that program and Coach Losey, um made you a better football player and helped you get to this point? Yeah. Um, you can't hide in, in, in Penn State's program. 
you're going to get everything out of you or, or you're going to bend. Um, our workouts are, for lack of a better word, barbaric. Um, very difficult and challenging, not only physically but mentally. Um, but it brings everything out of you. Um, and seeing what I was as a, as a young freshman kid coming out um, to, to where I am now, a lot of that is because of the hard, difficult workouts I had to do um, and the things that uh, I had to overcome to be able to improve and to be able to be successful in that program. What? Do you know the Buccaneers at all? Um, informally. Do you know Chase McLaughlin at all? How unique is it to kind of have two, not just two Canadians in this draft, but two Canadians at the tight end spot? Have you met him at all? Uh, no. You had a chance to meet with the Texans while you're here? Yes, sir. Yeah, I had a formal interview with them. Did you uh, talk to them? You talked to them at the Senior Bowl too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Are there any tight ends in the NFL that you have looked up to while your game after, maybe? Yeah, um, someone that I have a ton of respect for uh, for a long time. Uh, I really, you know, I really respect George Kittle's game. Um, I think he's he's a true tight end. You know, we're in a time now where there's the modern day tight end, there's a true tight end, which is kind of a little bit more rare now. A guy that can do all that you want as a tight end. He can be in pass protection. He can be as dominant in the run game as he can in the pass game. Um, so I have a ton of respect for him. I watch his game a lot, um, and that's something that I feel like I can I can become. I can be a guy that have the frame and potential to be a guy that can be a, a all down tight end that can do everything that you need. Do you enjoy run blocking? Yes, ma'am. I do. Yes. Theo, could you talk about your relationship with Brenton Strange and seeing him go in the second round last year? How maybe yeah. that pushed you? Maybe some people doubted him getting selected in the second yeah, round. Yeah, hundred percent. Brenton Strange is my guy. Um, I still talk to him now very frequently. Uh, Brenton, myself, and Tyler Warren had a really great relationship at Penn State. Uh, we push each other a lot. Um, it was it was a lot of competition, you know, and in the game plans. There's, there's some plays that only one tight end is going to get the ball. Um, so we're competing every day in practice for who's going to get that uh, opportunity in the game. Um, but it was never any selfishness. There was never any uh, pouting or um, you know, not looking out for each other. Um, and it was a really cool experience because you have someone that you're not only so close with, but you're rooting for at the same time and you're competing with them. Um, so I was super happy for Brenton last year when he got dropped in the second round. I think, you know, for whatever reason, people like to doubt Penn State tight ends until it comes to this uh, pre-draft process. But um, at the end of the day, real football players know that uh, Penn State produces some of the best tight ends. Do you think that's because there's so many of you guys and you share the rock? Do you think maybe the stats aren't there and that's what people don't realize? Yeah, I think, I mean, there's, there's probably a number of reasons. I think that's definitely a contributing factor is that, you know, it's, it's a team game. Um, and, and we live in a time now where people, um, you know, flock towards the guys that have the, the big numbers and the flashy stats. Um, you know, for Penn State tight ends aren't very sexy. Uh, to a lot of people, you know, like we're we're not we don't have the the big numbers and the big stats, but we do the the gritty stuff, the stuff that's not pretty, the the stuff that a lot of tight ends don't really want to do, um, and that's a lot of stuff that the NFL teams are looking for. With that said, have you talked to the Jags at all? Uh, I've talked to them informally. Uh, yeah, Tyler Warren's a stud. Uh, I mean, the guy approaches the game with with a, a, a gritty mindset. Um, he's going to catch everything that comes his way. Uh, he's going to be able to wiggle his way open at the top of the routes. Um, he'll be dominant in the run game uh, when needed. Uh, he's going to be a guy that's going to thrive this year in, uh, in Coach K's offense. I'm super excited to see what he can do uh, with one more year in college. Um, I think when he's standing up here next year, he's going to be one of the top tight ends uh, in college football and, and potentially an All-American next year. What's the best piece of advice you ever got from James Franklin? From James Franklin? Yeah. Compete in everything you do. Um, it's one of our one of our core values um, in everything you do, whether it's um, how you speak, how you uh, how you prepare, how you do schoolwork. Uh, compete in every single thing you do. Um, that's something that I think about every day in life, um, and I think it's helped me get to where I am today. Have the Packers uh, shown any interest? The Packers. Yeah, I've, I've spoken with them informally. No, man. Packers was here. You talked to him? You said you talked to the Packers here or at the Senior Bowl? At the Senior Bowl. Thank you. Who's the toughest guy you saw in practice every day? Chop Robinson. What about Chop? Yeah, Chop Robinson has elite pad level. He's able to play at such a low level, but be able to maintain his pad level throughout, throughout the block. The explosive, he, he shoots out like a cannon. Uh, he's strong as an ox. And if you don't have great technique, he's going to expose you, and you're either going to be on your back or five yards in the backfield. So going against him every day 
um, it made me really hone in on my technique and being consistent with my technique or else in, in the team meeting the next day I was going to be up on the screen so um, you know he's like I, I tell everybody he's one of the best players ever on the block and I got a ton of respect for him. Game this year who was the toughest guy you saw in the game? Uh, we got the DM from O State, uh, 44. Yeah, he's a pretty good player. Um, he's really good with his hands, uh, can move well for, for his size. Um, when we played him at home, I mean, he, he snapped, what was it, two years ago and had two pick sixes. Um, so, unique player, special player. I think he's going to be a good football player. Theo, have you met with the Broncos? Uh, I have met with him informally. What do you yeah. think of that offense? How do you feel like you'd, you'd be a part of that team? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, wherever I end up, I think that I'm going to be able to, to do well and, and make uh, make my own there. Um, I think that, you know, I, I worked with uh, Coach Kilgore, uh, QC for the for the Broncos. I had a really great experience with him at the Senior Bowl. Um, so if I was given that opportunity, I'd be, I'd be very fortunate. Um, but wherever I end up, I think I'm going to make the most of my opportunity. What teams have you met with formally here so far? Uh, I've met with uh, the Eagles. Houston, Kansas City, uh, 49ers, uh, Las Vegas. There's maybe one more, but that's all I can think of right now. Theo, uh, you, you talk about like doing the gritty stuff. Why do you take pride in doing this? Right? Sorry, can you repeat that? You spoke earlier about like uh, doing the gritty stuff, the stuff that's, that's not as pretty as it's turns of like CVRs, yards after catch. Why do you personally take pride in, those, in that type of stuff? Yeah, it's, it's, it's part of the game of football. It's part of what you're asked to do. Really love this game. You have to love all aspects of it. You can't just like catching the ball uh, because when you're not catching the ball, you're going to be miserable. Um, and there's a lot of times at Penn State I wasn't catching the ball, um, so you got to be able to take pride and enjoy um, some of the the not so fun things sometimes. And when you can do that, it's a lot of fun playing football. So uh, when we're in fourth and one and we got our big package out there, uh, we all get a little excited when we're in the huddle because we get to impose our will on another man, and, and that's that's. Pretty fun. Sorry. Yeah, Theo. So I understand you coach youth football. So how does your coaching experience with that kind of help you appreciate what your coaches currently do and what they've done in the past for you? Yeah, uh, it, it's it's really cool to coach because you can see yourself in a lot of these young kids. Uh, you can put yourself in their shoes when when you were there. Um, you know how to relate to them. You know you know what they're looking for. Um, I remember some of the coaches I had looking up to them so much and. Uh, being that for, for some of those kids is really cool. Um, I think, you know, as an older brother, I, I always try and look out and uh, provide and, and be a guiding hand for, for my younger brothers. That's how I was for some of the young tight ends this year as well. So um, it's something I take a lot of pride in, uh, you know, helping the next generation of football players. Theo, coach lets you call one play. What do you call it and why? Um, it depends on the situation, but I'm probably calling uh, what we call five crunch. Um, it's kind of the epitome of a, a gritty play for a tight end. It's a split flow uh, zone cutoff play where you're running from one side of the, the ball to the other and you're contacting the end man on the line of scrimmage. Um, that's a play that we ran a whole ton, a whole bunch at Penn State. You can see it all over the film. Um, and that's a play that you have to have the right mindset going into it or else uh, you're going to be the nail and not the hammer. Awesome. Thank you. Theo, you talked about the Penn State practices, terming them as barbaric. With you having to you know, deal with time between Tyler Warren, Andrew LaPelia, obviously, and, and a whole host of talented tight ends in that room, what are some skills that you have that you feel translate best to the NFL level and you didn't get to show like you wanted to in college? Yeah, I think that uh, for me it's just my ability to move all over the field. Uh, I think that um, at times I was only able to show uh, a finite uh, amount of things. I think I got to show a little bit more of that at the Senior Bowl with it uh, being a little bit more open and not as, as restricted um, and just kind of having a lot more freedom with my routes and what I'm able to do. Um, so I think I showed that a little bit more at the Senior Bowl. I think I have a little bit more in my bag. Um, and, and I think that's a little bit a little bit of a taste of the potential that I have as, as a route runner. As far as the next year and the players that you think are going to be the next big contributors for Penn State and who end up come to the NFL level, who would you say out of that wide receiver group do you think is going to emerge? Yeah, I think that uh, we just got to transfer uh, Julian Fleming. I think he's got an opportunity to be a major contributor for us. Um, you know, someone that I don't think a lot of people talk about is uh, is Liam Clifford, uh, brother to Sean Clifford, who was a quarterback for us a few years ago. Um, he's a guy that just goes about his business, tireless worker, 
uh, has an unmatched work ethic, uh, has kind of gone under the radar, but I think just based on Coach K's offense, he's really going to drive uh, drive in that, and he's going to be able to really help our team next year a lot. What's the better games? That's it? Yeah. Right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you.